Zach Morris is trash. Zach hates his teacher, Mr. Dickerson. The jerk actually wants to teach him stuff. Tomorrow's their midterm, and it's a doozy. Zach interrupts the review to crack a lame joke. The class trip is coming up. Taking the students on this annual adventure is the highlight of Belding's year. Milton wants to visit Pennsylvania. Zach calls him fat and pokes his belly. Lisa suggests Hawaii, but it's too expensive. Zach volunteers to go alone. Jesse proposes political activist tourism. Zach tells her to can it. Zach's blonde belligerence is making discussion impossible, so Belding will decide. But they need to pass the their midterms to go. Zach announces Dickerson is almost five minutes late to the midterm. You know what that means. Everyone can leave in 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6. Five minute rule, eh, Morris? How'd you know? Just made it up. No, you didn't, but whatever. Dickerson won't be in. The stress of teaching certain hopeless cases triggered a mental breakdown. Here's his chill substitute, Mr. Belding. Zach says, hey, moron, you're Belding. But this is also Mr. Belding. They're brothers. Just so there won't be any confusion, call me Rod. Very chill. Rod heard if they don't pass. The trip is canceled. Rod's not in the mellow harshing biz and tells everyone to rip up those midterms. A little too chill. Then makes a huge mess for the janitor to clean up. Not chill at all. Naturally, Zach loves this prick. What about grades? Jesse needs an A. Done! Zach jumps on that A-train. Rod says you can get what you think you deserve. Dismantling the core structure of graded schooling. Screech wants an A, but deserves a C+. Zach calls him an idiot for displaying honest character. Belding interrupts Rod's paper plane lecture to say they're going to Yosemite. As soon as he leaves, Rod talks shit about his brother. Then hosts a Dodgers viewing party in his office during school. Disrespecting his brother all over the room. Zack thinks it must be his goddamn birthday. Zack and Screech are pumped about Yosemite. Rod says his trip was way cooler. They went whitewater rafting. A bunch of kids unnecessarily risking injury and death before college. Totally better than stupid-ass Yosemite. Zack says boring bald belding would never take them rafting. But bastard blonde belding would. Zack sells the gang on rafting. Jesse says they agreed on Yosemite with real belding. Zack says so what? We'll just go break his heart. Belding is thrilled to show his treasured students the itinerary he's been working hard on. They're going to observe deer at dawn. That's so sweet. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Stop it. Zack interrupts to say they want no part of his snooze fest. They want rafting. Belding doesn't know much about rafting. It can be dangerous. Zack says no problem. Because Rod, the dude who has done nothing but showcase his incapacity for any responsibility and has failed to display one shred of common sense and is kind of a weird dickhole, is the perfect guy for the job. Belding just wants them to have fun. And if they all feel this way, sure. A crestfallen Belding dumps his dreams in the Zack can. Rod's using class time for raft time. Zack's pointing at imaginary animals and copping a bouncy feel. Rod hosts a makeout tutorial under the guise of CPR training. Belding breaks up the smooch show. He instructs a defiant Rod to return this class to the classroom. Zack says Rod rules. He's so passionate about kids not learning. Belding thinks Rod should care more about teaching than popularity. Zack says he's just jealous. Then pout stomps away, emotionally decimating Belding for the second time since lunch. The gang is ready to raft. But where's Rod? Zack hears Rod in Belding's office. He's bailing to hang with a flight attendant named Inga, who's only in town this weekend. Despite the fact that flight attendants, by vocational virtue, are in and out of town all the fucking time. Belding says he knew it was a mistake letting Rod return. He has not changed. Rod says he'd understand if he could just see how hot Inga is. Now cover for the Rodster. Tell the kids he's sick. Which is technically true. Rod is sick of the kids. Belding tells Rod to leave and don't come back. Zack, in full Rod plus vest cosplay, retreats. Belding says Rod can't make it. He has the flu. That's all Zack needs to yell. Let's go home, guys. Belding might not know much about rafting or swimming, but he'll risk drowning to take them on their trip. Zack wants to know why Belding didn't tell the truth. Rod's banging a smoke show stewardess with a cool name. What a legend. The gang would have loved it. Classic Rod. Then Zack decides he'll finally be nice to this selfless mentor now that he has an exciting vacation to offer. Let's review. Zack Morris, disgusted by an educator trying to educate him, drove a teacher insane with his unwinnable future just to embrace a sham substitute who made a mockery of academics. Then, after Zack made deciding on a trip impossible with his hostile badgering, callously snubbed his most patient ally after he made a well-thought-out decision. Decision. Just to put the mortal fate of his classmates in the dodgy hands of a man he personally witnessed was incapable of any substantial obligation, and who, for an adult, displayed an alarming need to impress children, then only retracted his scathing dismissals of his dedicated principal when it meant a free trip that he did not even earn because he was never going to pass that midterm. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.